Fadia scales look good. You know, for perfect black, you want R, 0, G, 0, B, 0. And for perfect gray, all three of those values, R, G, and B, red, green, and blue, should be the same. With tones, value could be more constant when I look at this in grayscale. Now, uh, gradation of hue. In this one, you've got a marvelous design, and I can see, you know, excellent craftsmanship here also. Um, however, all the colors are not fully saturated. We have shades of yellow, and I think that's a shade of magenta in there too. Now, your gradation of value must be the one in the bottom right, and on bottom left, when rendered in grayscale, the values look very constant, so I'll say that is your gradation of saturation. Hi, Tarot. Your scales look quite good. Now, with tints, you want to end with white. And um, with shades, you've ended with something close to a black. And if you listened to what I had to say to Fadia, you know that your perfect black will have red, green, and blue values of 0, 0, 0 in the color picker. Applause for that perfect gray. Now, um, the three blue blocks on the left, they don't all match, and I can tell that even without the help of the color picker. Your tone scale is quite constant in value, except for a jump between the first and second squares. Um, let's see. Now, gradation of hue looks quite good. Most of those colors are fully saturated. Um, the green example is your gradation of value. Um, remember, uh, depress shift and release that last for perfect circles. And I can see that your gradation of saturation is the one on the bottom left. Samantha, your scales look pretty good. Um, let's see. The one problem is tints ought to end in a pure white. And when I look at this in grayscale, I see that there is some variation in value in tones, but not in tints. So if I were you, I'd relabel the tints scale tones and make a new tints one. So let's see. Um, gradation of hue looks very good. Same with gradation of value, and you were able to achieve constant value in the gradation of saturation, which is quite difficult to do. I would like you to omit stroke in Illustrator files until we get to week five for future. Melissa, your scales look quite good. You know, with tints, we wanted to end in a pure white. And you know, the color you begin with is so dark, it's almost as though shades could double for tones. When I look at your tone scale and grayscale, scale, I can see a slight fluctuation in value. The right end gets lighter. Now, gradation of hue. Well, this is quite good, but all colors are not fully saturated. When we see that dark green and the navy blue, those colors are shades and not fully saturated ones. Gradation of value looks good, and gradation of saturation there on bottom left is quite good too. Well, hi, Crystal, and I can see your white, black, and gray in scales. They're all perfect. When I look at tints, notice at left we've got a blue color, and at right we've got this cyan color, you're actually not keeping hue constant there. And you know what will clue you into that? Using the color picker and taking a look at the field that the colors uh, are situated in. Now, the gradation of hue is pretty good. However, those colors are not all fully saturated, so check on that. With your gradation of value, gee, I don't know how you got this to look like it was glowing. It's really quite amazing. Gradation of saturation is good. Lauren, scales look good. White and black are almost perfect. Gray is perfect. Intense, we get a shift in hue toward magenta in the center. Keeping hue constant is something you should work at here. Also, mind the uh, interval there at the left with shades and tones. The squares ought to look different from one another. Now, your gradations of hue, value, and saturation all look excellent. 
Um, with saturation and hue, you know, it's possible to just make half of the design and then copy and paste it, um, or perhaps flip, then copy and paste. Gladys, your scales look good, you know. Let's see. Um, the reds at left, they could be all the same. With um, your white and black, well, the RGB values aren't perfect, but you're close. Notice in tints, there's a subtle shift in hue. Also, I think the assignment said, don't use the color that you see in the sample. You know, I think mainly that's so that someone wouldn't do one exactly the same, and I can see this is a little different. Um, let's see, with the gradation of hue, well, actually, both of those on the right could be gradations of hue. Except that in this case, you're asked to keep colors fully saturated. Now at left, we've got a great example of a gradation of value. And in truth, that's also a gradation of saturation. But note that in this assignment for gradation of saturation, they also want you to keep value constant, like in a tone scale. Hi, Linda. Thanks for showing us a couple of versions with your scales. Um, and the second version looks great. The only little problem might be that the leftmost boxes do not all seem to have the same RGB values. Gradation of hue is very nice. Gradation of value. Hmm. Well, either of those bottom ones could satisfy the requirements for that part. For gradation of saturation, you need to have something a little more like a tone skill where value is constant. Hi, Scott. Your scales look good. You know, maybe the white and black and gray could be perfected a touch um, so that you have the right RGB values. Um, in tones, value is fairly constant. Um, let's take a look at assignment four. You know, your gradation of value in the center is good, and same with gradation of saturation. Gradation of hue, well, I guess that's the one on the left. Hmm. You know, we don't want hue to be constant. We want the hue to change. So you'll have something like a rainbow or part of one. Hi, Helen. Your scales look good. Let's see. Um, you know, black should have RGB values of 0, 0, 0. Mm. And in tones, I think that things get a little darker in value toward the right. With your gradation of hue, wow, what a lovely design. Those colors aren't all fully saturated, however. Gradation of value and saturation look very good. Well, hi, Catherine. You are going in the right direction here. Now, a couple of things. Um, we want the leftmost boxes to be identical for all three of the scales. And I do see a little fluctuation in hue. In other words, Sometimes you've got a violin, other times you've got a shade of magenta. So, um, you know, I just want you to work with a color picker a little bit, and maybe one-on-one -on -one tutoring would work, or we can do something together, you and I. Katie, your scales look great. It might be that the center area of tones gets a little darker in value than the rest. Gradation of hue looks great, and the same for the other two gradations. The only thing I'll mention is depress shift and release at last to get perfect circles. Tina, nice work here. Scales look good. Um, I think, though, you need to work on your perfect RGB values with white, black, and gray. Also, the RGB values for the leftmost boxes should be identical. Um, let's see. Gradation of hue looks great. Um, and you know your other two gradations are excellent also. Well, if we wanted to be nitpicky, we might say the gradation of value with those three circles doesn't have constant color throughout the entire composition.